We'll get started with our first lightning talk. A good buddy of mine, Jed Gant, with New Rally. Jed Gant is currently working on media strategy for Myriad Media and Smarter Cities Challenge with IBM. He's a partner in the online information source New Rally and the founder of Cook Street Carnival, Old Rally, and Rally Mural Project. So everybody give a quick round of applause for Jed and I again. Thanks, Bonner, and thanks, uh, Jason. Uh, I've been here since the beginning, too, on and off. I remember the email that Bonner sent me years ago. But anyway, um, it's a great time. First time I presented. I was going to use notes, but I realized I can't hold three things at a time. And so um, I'll get started. This is a project I've been working on for several years now, um, about two. Um, it's called Hybrid Media Infrastructure in Raleigh. It proposes a model for hybrid media in Raleigh, but it could be used in any city in the United States or other. Um, hybrid media infrastructure is basically taking a lot of different media, overlapping them in urban space, and figuring out what you can do with them uh, in an urban space. One of the biggest precedents in this project is the digital roadmap, or the roadmap for a digital city in New York City. What they did is took a bunch of uh, existing technologies and existing ideas, put them in a document, and figured out how they can use technology to integrate it in the city, push forward into future um, ideas. So what I did based on that uh, was take and do my digital demographics of our city of Raleigh. Who uses technology, where do they use it, and, 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 and what, why? So I did some Twitter analytics. These, what you see, it's kind of tough to see, but the blue media, uh, pink is technology. This is how many followers people have in this city. This is how many people are following them. You see media is kind of off the charts. Government's doing a pretty good job. Organizations and tech are as well. This is kind of another version of that. You can see media again at the top. Government kind of pulls down. Far left is when they join. The bigger the circle, the more followers. Keeps going. I did more of these demographic studies relative to Facebook, um, as well as map Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi in this city. You see the buses moving through with the pink. You see green Wi-Fi that was presented by the city. Uh, you see coffee shops, and you see free library. Last thing I did was um, map C click fix usage. You can see that C and D, uh, the bottom two, are where the most um, usage is coming from. And when I talk to Bonner about this, he says that's, that's great because those are the two places that need it the most. The other ones are new infrastructure. This is all old, old infrastructure. So you can see that people are using technology in a great way in these places of the city. So what I then did is took these, uh, took this data, made a map of where we could put technology. I then narrowed that down to more viable locations. And what I created were four ideas of what I think that how we can implement this in a city. Um, these are different interventions. They have different aspects. They have different properties. But they can all can be combined as well. The first is the zone. It is like a blanket technology. It's a lot like Wi-Fi technology. We can kind of put it in a location. It's adaptive and flexible. Somewhere like Fayetteville Street area uh, could have this kind of blanket technology being adapted into buildings. We could kind of sign on to that. We could be alert by um, the technology and kind of see what's around us. Cities could partner with universities and create university-specific zones, much like if the state has its own Wi-Fi. But I see this as kind of a larger area where these zones can overlap. The second is a corridor. So what corridors are is it's basically a replication of like a street structure. So you can go down a certain corridor, and there would be a certain type of technology to be integrated in that. It is invisible technology. It's also adaptable and includes things like beacons and sensors. So something like Fayetteville Street could take the light poles, and we could wrap them with technology. We could put technology and beacons inside of them. So our city starts talking to us, and we can start talking back to our city with our phones and any wearables and any type of thing that's coming. Same thing could happen somewhere like uh, Hillsborough Street, we can integrate this in the sidewalks, but the main goal here is to create corridors. So we have a corridor of activity. You get outside of that corridor, your technology kind of lessens. As well as you can use businesses that can give you free beers with your haircut. When these corridors overlap, you could get a, like Target in Wilmington, you can get a really kind of hotbed of kind of technological kind of activity. Okay, the third one is a direct connect. It's basically a connection between two places. What if you could see what's happening in CMA, the CAM, vice versa by using their skins as digital portals? And what if you could see in the city a direct connection to city council? 
The last one is spots, which is basically just technology bouncing around the city and kiosks and pavilion forms. Bus stops can be integrated with technology. Pavilions in places, or even our buses, could be spots that are bouncing around. So these things, I think, could then overlap. And what would happen if you take all of these, your zone, your corridor, your direct connects between two different places and spots around the city. But I think this is what I propose. I think they're located all around the city. And I think when you start to overlap these things, you get overlap of technology, and you get kind of a large web of technology. Thank you. Thanks, Jed. A lot of opportunity there, and I think it makes me think of all the different ways that we could uh, connect. I like the idea of adding uh, city council interior views to walls across the city, then we could finally have someone to actually watch the meetings. 